On a remote island in the South Pacific lies Kaiju Max, a maximum security prison for giant monsters. Follow doting father Electrogor as he stands up to the cruel space superhero warden. See corrupt guard Gupta manage his illicit uranium and dealing empire and pay off his gambling debt to the Queen of the Moon. Watch Mechazon battle his own programming when the monster he was created to destroy shows up on the pound. These stories and more will assault you from every angle in the cesspool of corruption that is Kaiju Max. Everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. This time we're reviewing another indie title. I went with Oni Press and the awesome Kaiju Max. This was an experience, ladies and gentlemen. I basically summed up everything at the beginning of the video with the introduction. Uh, it's this super facility, detention facility, if you will, for big Kaiju. Now, before you get into this book, you have to love the subject matter. If you're not a fan of cheesy 60s, 70s, and 80s uh, big monster shows and movies from Japan with the Super Sentai, with big guys like Ultraman and all that stuff, if you don't like that, I don't think you're going to have a fun time reading this. I, I don't know, I could be wrong, but you have to really like that sort of thing to really appreciate enjoy and love the heck out of this book this is season one from xander cannon and it's just fabulous it's like this prison drama mixed with superheroes mixed with kaijus uh big robots and just it's just so far out there and so wacky i mean i really have to commend xander for finding this mashup this ability to take all these genres and mix them into a very solid fun story i mentioned at the beginning electrogor i think i said that right uh he he gets captured and you see most of the story from his perspective although the story tends to shift around to different monsters and stuff but yeah you see everything from his point of view where he gets captured and you find out that he has uh children and he's very worried about his children and he's trying to do everything imaginable to get a word out to them so they'll be safe however he doesn't want to tell the authorities because they'll uh, capture them as well and send them to kaiju max kaiju max is this island and i'm going to show you at the back of the first trade they do have a map of the island as you can see it's a big island with a uh, force field around it and all that stuff and it's divided into different regions or cell blocks if you will with different characters now you're gonna be a little bit confused because there's a ton of kaijus and each and every single one of them wants something out of somebody you've got mafia heads uh, fighting for power you've got uh, drug dealers inside the prison you've got corrupt officials this series has everything and Xander just does a really cool job of humanizing these characters and really making the humans per se the real monsters of the show by having all these creatures that some does don't really do much and others are kind of innocent and they're stuck in this prison system and of course you could get into the whole debate of actual prison systems in the world and being wrongfully uh imprisoned for something you didn't do or just for being you know several of these characters haven't really done anything but they're kaijus they destroy uh buildings they eat people i guess so they have to be locked up now uh the art in it is super wacky and kind of uh flimsy but if you take a closer look if you inspect the book you're gonna find a lot of intricate detail in its simplicity and that to me is the strongest point that this book has to make uh, don't judge it by its cover don't judge it by its silly premise you are gonna have a fun time you will get uh, to you will relate to several of these characters and their struggles you will laugh at some of at some of them like uh, this uh, the goat here the Devil's Creek goat 
Uh, I just, it's so far out there, man. I, it's a book that you gotta experience. If, like I mentioned at the beginning, if you're into kaiju's and Super Sentai and all that stuff, you will love this. By the way, one of the details that I really enjoyed was the usage of Japanese words, but like the way they're romanized or they're spoken in English. Like you would have um, Taicho, which I. I think I said that wrong, I don't know, but it means uh, captain, right? So they write it as you pronounce it, and if you know, if you watch anime or read manga or watch old Japanese monster movies, then you sort of know and understand the lingo. So I thought that was really cool for old school fans. But yeah, Kaiju Max, pretty damn awesome. Really interesting social commentary on the prison system and prison life, I guess, and you get the story of this monster that at the end of the day is a father and he's trying to look out for his sons for his son and daughter I should say and the lengths that he will go through to ensure their safety I don't know I liked it I cannot wait to read season two and if you want me to do a review on season two let me know that of course will be a spoiler review usually with the first volume I keep things super light on spoilers so yeah, let me know down below what you guys thought of Kaiju Max, and also let me know what is your favorite Kaiju of all time. Guys, as always, you can follow me on your favorite social media platform. Follow me at A Week in Geekdom, and thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to this very channel. You guys are the best. All right, I have got to go. Thank you once again. I will catch all of you on our next episode.